Hey, Keith. Hey, Sean. What's going on? Not much. Except we're going to have a barrel-aged stout. We are. That came from you, because you sent this a year ago, and it took us a whole year to get here. But we made it. (laughs) We finally made it. (laughs) This beer is from Conclave Conclave Brewing. It is barrel-aged sable. It's an 11.3% imperial stout aged in Penelope bourbon barrels. Very nice, very simple label with a, uh, looks like a ram on the front, which you can probably see better in Keith's camera. Yeah. It's but uh, yeah, Keith sent a bunch of conclave a year ago. <laughs> and uh, the, I remember specifically the farm, the, the hearthland was mind blowing. And Mike and I did, in full disclosure, you can go back and watch it. I'm going to link to it. I'm not going to bury it. We did the vanilla version of this, and both of us thought it was kind of, it was a little thin, a little eh. Yeah. Um, yeah. Was it thin or, or uh, was it not very carbonated? Because I, I have a feeling that this may not oh. be very carbonated. The carb. It was the carb. You're right. Sorry. But it, but I, but I think thin was also part of. But yeah, we're well, gonna find out. Because uh, I only say that because when I picked up these bottles, I remember having the vanilla on draft, and it was like not carbonated at all. I thought I thought the bottles were going to be different, but apparently not. So. <laughs> yes, you're right. Because I remember you specifically saying that. I think either in the comment or you texted me after you saw the review. Yeah. Hmm. So there's. Not much carbonation in this one no. either, but they, I'll tell you one thing: what, what what there is, there's alcohol eggs. Yeah. <laughs> Oop. Wait, did you hear that I was doing a barrel aged stout and you wanted some too? No. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty much, I'd say, pitch black in the glass, right? And then yeah, there's. There's a brownish reddish hue in the light from like the little bubbles that are there, but otherwise, yeah. Yeah. It's the brown that's in there is like dark brown. <laughs> so, yeah. It looks like motor oil. Yeah. Do you want to get a nose? Let's do it. That is. Hmm. That's liquor. There is there is yeah. a good amount of booze, but there's also a good amount of like fudgy chocolate going on too. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of barrel in mine. Are you getting a lot there, of barrel? Yeah, like yes, a lot of barrel. But there is that there is fudginess, there is chocolate, but the barrel, like it, especially oh. if you stick your nose in it, it's like straight ethanol. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Mine's been out for the last, I guess, probably 20 minutes because we were shooting the shit for a while. Yeah. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of berry, maybe like stone fruits. Man, I am not getting much outside of the... uh, (laughs) Like I am getting it's tough. It, it's tough. I'm like pulling. I, I am getting a little bit of chocolate. So aside from the barrel and aside from the uh, bourbon. Yeah. A little bit, uh, uh, kind of like I'm getting a little bit of like a kind of cherry cordial kind of thing, but like a more, um, like a more generic, like dark fruit slash berry thing. I could see that. I could see that. Oh, actually, I just got like a blueberry thing. So definitely berry. Yeah, thing. I'm getting like a, I was thinking regular berry. Like, yeah, blueberries make sense. I was just thinking like berries in general. But yeah, I can see blueberry. I can definitely see the cherry cordial thing for sure. So you have, so you've only had the vanilla as well, correct? Or have you had this? Yes, I don't think I've had this. I don't believe. Okay. If I have, I have no recollection of it. So, <laughs> all right, do you want to try it? Let's do it. Which one am I going? 
for here. Cheers. Nope, nope, that's a wall. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> that was a good one. Cheers. Thanks for sending it. You're welcome. Low carb, just like the vanilla, but maybe not as much. It's it's like on the cusp of not carbonated. Yeah. There's like maybe a little bit of a prickle on my tongue. Yeah. But it's up there. It's like it has a bowl. It's like the barrel's there. The chocolate is more like a dark chocolate flavor. There's, there's an aspect to this that, um, and I don't know, you, I don't know. There's something about this that makes me want to say that there is like an additional barrel thing to it. There's like the way, uh, I don't know if it's the way the barrel comes across or whatever, but like it kind of almost tastes like it's like there's rum barrel or some sort of like, uh, something involved because hmm. when i'm getting the barrel like it. it's like sweet so it, it well, i could see it kind of on my side panel yeah there there is a little extra sweetness before like the barrel really hits like it dries out like the oaky oakiness drying it out yeah i could see that and like as it plays like on the back after it finishes, that sweetness kind of comes through a little bit more with the sort of that dark dark cocoa baker's cocoa kind of vibe going on. Yeah, I th I think what I'm getting is the is the way the barrel is like drying out when it comes in because it's like because yeah. it's like it's kind of drying out some of the flavor and it's making me think that it's that it's a different kind of uh, uh, spirit or something rather than it just being yeah. like the barrel giant and like coming in. It's deceptive. Yeah, I can see that. Does it now, now you said earlier, well, actually it was before we recorded from having Penelope bourbon. Do you get that vibe from this or have you not had it enough to kind of make that? Um, it's been a while since I've had it. Uh, And I can't remember what the distinctive. I want to say maybe it was the the barrel character that. Well, trying this makes me want to say that the barrel character. In the Penelope was the thing that I. Uh, I also can't remember what bottle I got. I, I don't know if it's just bourbon or. Or, or what it is. So I don't even know if it's the same thing. <clears throat> Regardless, I, I do really like the, the overall flavor of this beer. I do wish it had a little bit more <laughs> carbonation yeah. just yeah. to kind of give it a, but like, otherwise like it does have a really, like I really love like the fudgy chocolateness in the barrel character of this and like whatever the base stout is, I, I, I think they're doing something well there, but yeah, the carbonation and that's sort of, I think what killed it from this, the, it, I was going to say, so the carbonation, in, no carbonation in the vanilla kind of killed that, but I think that was because maybe the vanilla wasn't, didn't lend itself well enough to no carbonation, whereas this has enough other awesome things going on where it works. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, yeah. And it is, this is similar to the nose, and I'm glad, but I'm glad that in the taste, there is definitely more beer in this. Because I was smelling it, I was like, "Oh no, this is just going to be like." Yeah, I agree. Like a barrel, barrelly booziness kind of thing, with a little Boozy bit of chocolate. Mess. Yeah, no, but it's not at all. <clears throat> do they do this? And they do this every year, right? Is this their like? No, no, they didn't. Uh, I don't. Oh, yeah. This was just a like they do. They do barrel age stuff, but. It's it's infrequent. 
Um, yeah, because they released this, and then they released the vanilla one. They released a coconut one that I didn't have. I think that was, like, super limited, and I, I didn't even get the... I don't think I got a bottle. If I did, I drank it, and I don't remember drinking it, so... Um, and then, and then, yeah, they do like their, their farmhouse ales. They do those. And yeah, I don't know if they've, they haven't done much barrel aging things as far as I know, but, uh, but yeah. I don't think we mentioned, so I didn't, I think I even mentioned where they were from. Raritan Township, New Jersey. So they're from New Jersey. Yeah. Is Penelope Bourbon from there too? Or no, you said Tennessee earlier, Tennessee. I, Tennessee. Yeah, I think, I think they're from like Tennessee or Kentucky or something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah overall, I, I really do like, I, I like, like everything going on flavor wise is awesome. And again, maybe next time they make this, maybe just a little bit more carb if anyone from yeah. Conclave is watching. <laughs> Yeah, like, wonder if I could put this through my soda stream and just yeah. press the button a little bit and give it. If <laughs> I ruin it, but it's like, hey, yeah. look, it's better. Uh, I do. When I did have the vanilla on draft, I do. I do remember. I think have that that having like less carbonation than this, which is yeah, which is saying something. <laughs> That's all right. And I think I think it was I think it was thinner too because because originally I said thin but then you said no carb and I'm like I think we said thin and no carb so that as a combination would definitely because 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 this isn't that this isn't it, this still has like a a, a good level of of, of mouthfeel to it so. yeah because also without the carbonation like it kind of comes off a little syrupy almost not not yeah. like syrupy yeah. but like almost. I know what you mean. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, but it tastes good. Flavor's uh, good. Yeah, I know it tastes tastes freaking awesome. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Um, any final thoughts? Uh, it does upset me a little bit because Conclave does do does uh do good beers. Like they're mostly known for their IPAs and stuff, but um. Yeah, that's my. Those are my final thoughts. I think. <clears throat> yeah, and, and and I know they do a good beer too because again that that Hearthland beer blew both Mike and I's socks off. That beer was freaking amazing. Um, but yeah, down in the comments, have you had Conclave Brewing Sable? Have you had any of the variants? What do you think of it? What's your verdict on the uh, on the carbonation? Is the carbonation is it on purpose? Because if it's if you had it on draft, it makes you think like, did they do it on purpose and not? I feel like that would be if they realize that they would fix it relatively quick. I don't know. Um, but Keith, thank you for sending this though. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So don't forget to check out 93 lumber. I'll link to them. Keith over here, somewhere over there, maybe up here, maybe over there, <laughs> no, over there, over there somewhere. Um, and then, so we'll link to him. We'll put on the down there and then, uh, yeah, comment, let us know about uh about conclave sable what do you think of it what do you think of the of the variants in general don't forget to check out our website and then from there all of our social media spots and uh yeah i'm sean that's i'm me. keith oh you were saying and that. this is nerd sense cheers oh. buddy oh wait oh, i hate i hate when i come <laughs> on this side cheers cheers, cheers.